Hi, hi everybody. We're back at Dr. Serrano's office, and I wanted to ask him, uh, I've been seeing a lot of uh, posts on social media and even billboards where, uh, I don't know if it's attorneys or somebody, but they're saying, oh, testosterone causes, causes heart attacks, and it seems kind of like a scare tactic. Um, but anyways, I wanted to get Dr. Serrano's thoughts on this whole testosterone causes heart attack things. Uh, thank you, John. I'm so freaking pissed off. Um, the whole reason for this was some researcher did a study on VA patients and normal patients, okay, and he said he compared, or we're going to compare the patients on testosterone heart, heart attacks. Well, when the person published the study that was published in JAMA, that was a big deal, I thought it was way wrong. There were numbers that didn't make sense, and when I looked at the true numbers, I thought the people on testosterone had less the last one disease. Note that they lost a lot of people on follow up. Two, they even have women there and, she, and they didn't even know they have women there. That's how ridiculous the story was. But now the media got a hold of it, of course, the testosterone, testosterone causes cardiovascular disease, and they had a meeting, and the, all the endos got a meeting, and of course, now it's a big deal testosterone causes disease. No, testosterone does not cause cardiovascular disease. Actually, recent papers just about two months ago show that people with the lowest testosterone levels and lower estrogen levels, I'm talking about free levels, have a higher chance of being dead. Now, if you have a heart attack and your testosterone levels are low, you have a, a 90% high, higher chance of dying of a, another heart attack if your testosterone levels are low. So think about this. I have some research done in the 60s that show that testosterone injections causes basal dilatation, increases the size of the amount of space where your veins can go through, okay, your blood flow, so it is improve even your heart pumping ability. This is absolutely insane. I'm angry because the lawyers are taking this. Oh, we, we have cases. There's no cases, no one single case ever that testosterone does this. There's also one paper where there are four patients that develop DVTs, okay, and he this guy goes on and writes about. Oh, they develop DVTs. Well, they have factor five deficiency that is a anticoagulant, okay? And maybe testosterone, maybe, because it wasn't, it was not a direct correlation chip. It was just maybe by accident, it, they develop a clot. Now, were they questions about, did these people fly anywhere? Did these people work? No, there was none of that at that trade. Now, for all those people out there that are getting prescriptions, and I'm talking about correctly prescribed, checking your testosterone levels in the morning, checking your free levels, checking all the other tests that are required, okay, then I will definitely, definitely say, do not stop your testosterone. Now, something that is not known in the literature and people do not, are not aware of this, testosterone does increases your iron uptake, okay? So for example, if you're taking testosterone, your hemoglobin goes up, that is bad also, okay? It is not bad, okay? Most athletes that do endurance, most of them do freaking bike up on the mountains, their freaking hemoglobin is 18, okay? Now, people that have COPD, the hemoglobin is 20, and they require a hemoglobin of 20 because they require to carry oxygen because the lungs don't work good, so they have to carry more hemoglobin into the lungs so they can carry the oxygen away. So don't be scared because, oh my goodness, my hemoglobin is 16, 17, it's absolutely normal. Do not worry about that. Now, if you don't drink water, you're totally dehydrated, that's another another time and another dis discussion that we can do. Now, does testosterone cause cardiovascular disease? Absolutely not, okay? There's no correlation whatsoever. This is just a mistake on a researcher that didn't add up the numbers correctly. They even have to come with a new system of statistics that I don't even know, I'm not even aware of it. So you guys, please don't worry about it. If you're being followed by your physician, once it is, I know there's a lot of people out there that take in testosterone. Please follow up with a good physician. There's a lot of physicians out there that were there to judge you. No, go to a physician that is willing to work with you, listen to you, discuss it with you, and then after you discuss it, are you being, I have three categories here. Are you being a dumbass? Because you're using it without a physician? Two, are you using it correctly? Okay. And third, because you require, you really need it, okay? So always ask those three questions. Okay, I hope that this brings a few questions from the viewers out there because I'm willing to write 
something on John's website about this. Thank you.